to watch is sponsored by. What's going on guys? David aka the Straight Face Gamer here. I would like to wish everybody a happy Halloween. And today is Thursday. It's a nice ass Thursday. Sun is shining, birds are chirping, dogs are barking and shit. If you're not having a good week or a good day, I am sorry. Please keep pressing for it. The shit will get better, I promise. And on to the point. I got some awesome play, some awesome, awesome PlayStation news for you. And uh Bear with me because it's a lot going on here. So, the first one is, you're going to be stuck with your old PSN name on the PlayStation 4. The second one is, the PlayStation 4 takes a step backwards. The third, Sony reveals the PlayStation 4 launch details and game lineup. And the fourth, Titanfall is never coming to the PlayStation 4. But Battlefield and FIFA 14 are looking good on PlayStation 4. And also, you will not get an additional storage possibility. The gameplay you are looking at is Grand Theft Auto. I've been told that some people don't know what game I'm playing. I, I really don't understand how. But I'm going to start, you know, putting uh, gameplays. Well, putting gameplay nays in my video. But uh, gameplay nays. But you, you know what I mean. But the gameplay you're looking at is Grand Theft Auto uh, 5, correction, Grand Theft Auto 5. And uh, let's go ahead and start this. So, you're going to be stuck with your old PSN name. According to Kentaku, and all of my sources will be in the description, you will never be able to change your PSN username on the PlayStation 4. Hopefully, you pick the name that you like via the PlayStation Vita or the PlayStation 3. Uh, and the reason for that is there is no reason. <laughs> uh, the PlayStation 4 does give you the option of allowing your friends to see your real name in addition to your online ID. You can also choose to import your Facebook photo to be used to your PSN profile picture if you wish. That tells me that more than likely your PlayStation, well, it's already, I think you can already do that. Your PlayStation name can be linked to your Facebook, and more than likely, it's probably going to be uh, your Twitter thing, since uh, Facebook and Twitter pretty much go hand in hand. Let me know in the comments below what you think about that. Me, personally, I wouldn't mind changing my name, but at the same time, I don't really care for it, because I like the name that I have over there. And, uh... I'm not going to disclose my PlayStation name because I, I probably will get too many people on there already. And I'm, yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot of people. But, you know, let me know in the comments below what you think. Second part of the news, PlayStation takes a step backwards. Now, what does this mean? Does that mean it's backwards compatibility? Nope. That has nothing to do with this. If you didn't know, the PlayStation 3 has this thing called PS3 Media Server, which allows you to stream music from your uh, computer to your PlayStation and allows it to come through the TV. Not just music, but music, movies. If you're into Metallica, Enter the Sandman, but you want to switch over and watch some hardcore porn, that's your prerogative to do on the PS3, and you can do that. But there, here's the kicker. With the PlayStation 4, they're taking that ability away. You will no longer be able to stream music or watch movies from your computer on through the PlayStation 4 on your TV. So, Sony's decision to cut media server capability, uh, excuse me, compatibility from the PS4 has left a lot of people upset. I can understand why they did it. This is what they're saying. I can understand why they did it. Shit, I can't. Uh, Sony is instead pushing people to use its own online store and streaming service for music and movies. A service users would pay for, but it's still a crummy move. Yes, it is. It is an asshole move. Um, I'm just going to... I'm going to link that in the description below. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and talk about that now. 
Sony, you're an asshole for this, and here's why. Sorry if I'm hitting the mic, but here's why. You're taking away everybody's ability to watch movies. Let, let's say somebody actually bought a movie on their PC and was able to download it. Somebody actually did the right thing. I don't know who, but somebody actually did the right thing. Somebody actually bought this song and downloaded it. And now it's on their computer. They they may want to play it for all their friends, family. They're having a little party. People are celebrating birthdays. They want to play that. They want to use the PS4 to play that. You just took away their ability to do that. For what? You haven't even given a reason. What you're doing is very Microsoft-y. And a lot of fanboys already don't like Microsoft. I really don't care for Microsoft practices either, oh but I'm a realist at the same time. The shit you're doing, Sony is just another version of Microsoft. <laughs> They're in it to make money. But you're doing this, and this is what Microsoft like would do. <laughs> the Xbox One, more than likely, is probably still going to have a Windows uh, media server on it, if anything. And it also will still do what it needs to do, but you're gonna take away that ability from uh, for, from regular people the ability to to play their music that they bought. Maybe you got like some kind of hip hop artist or some kind of country singer on there who made their own songs. They want to play it through this PS4 on the TV, and they can't do this for what? Why did you do that? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Oh, it's a stupid God. ass thing. I really don't care for it. The Xbox One, uh, well, the Xbox 360 media server is way better than that PS3 media server anyway. What? Because PS3 media server will not read all files versus the Xbox uh, 360 server, which will. So, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, nah, nah. So, on to the next one. Sony reveals the PlayStation 4 launch details. I'm not going to read this whole thing, but the launch games are as follows. Flower. Killzone Shadowfall. Knack. Rasogan. Sound Shapes. Angry Birds Star Wars. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Call of Duty Ghost. On a map you FIFA choose, 14, you like any little prop, like a Battlefield 4, or a or a Just or Dance 2014, Injustice, like, God Among Us Ultimate Edition, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Madden NFL 25, NBA 2K14, like, Contrast, <laughs> and Pinball Arcade. Of this list, only five. Yeah. Flower, that, that Killzone, Net, Rasogan, and Sound Shapes are PlayStation <laughs> exclusives. <laughs> now, I'm going to be honest. Out of that whole list, a lot of those games just sound like they suck. Contrast is the uh, is the alternative for Watch Dogs being delayed. So, if you had a Watch Dogs bundle, you're automatically going to get that. God damn. So, you know, let me know what you guys think of this list in the comments below. Most now. of these games are already out on the uh, 360 and the PS3. But, you know, it, Assassin's Creed is definitely out. Call of Duty Ghost is that about to be out. FIFA, FIFA 14, okay. I don't think that's out yet, but it's about to be out. Battlefield is definitely out on the PC, the that's Xbox, the I think the PS3 too, and the... Uh, um, and the Wii. Hell yeah. I think. No. I am no, it's not, not It's not out on the Wii. I don't think so. I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, yeah. Die. Most of this list is god awful. <laughs> I can't even lie. Go, 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 I can't go, even go, lie. Go, go, go. For the, this is god awful. For this to be a launch of time. the next generation, this list sucks ass. No. Knack. Come on, son. <laughs> Come on. Next. Titanfall is never coming to the PlayStation. Well, the PlayStation 4. 
I sacrificed myself for so, you. So, Titanfalls look like sweet game, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, I don't know why it gives it that. Okay. Once thought to be an exclusive deal with the 360, yeah. Xbox One, and PC, it now has become official that EA, with EA, that Titanfall will never come to Sony's next gen. Is that good or bad? Forbes reports up. that EA has already come to an agreement with Microsoft that makes the franchise yeah, that, exclusive for here. its really lifetime, confused. though this only applies for the first game, unless announced otherwise in the future. Oh, that doesn't make sense. I'm only going to have this game for the Xbox One, but maybe when I make a sequel or a prequel or a spinoff, That'll be on the PlayStation. But at the same time, this franchise is only exclusive to Microsoft. What part of that makes sense to you? More than likely, and this is just my opinion, more than likely, Titanfall is just going to stay on the uh, Microsoft side of things. I, don't, I, I really don't even see it as moving to the PlayStation side. It just, it looks too, I don't know. When I look at trailers of Titanfall for some reason Halo comes to mind it's like the new version of Halo I know Destiny is supposed to be that but at the same time it's not but it seems like Titanfall is going to be the new version of Halo but let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you care that Titanfall do you care that Titanfall will only be an exclusive thing for the uh, Microsoft side or would you prefer that EA just pony up the cash and break all ties with Microsoft and allow it to be for Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony. Let me know in the comments below. Yeah. Also, last part of the news. <clears throat> the, the PS4 is limited to only 500 gigabytes of memory. A 500 gigabyte, yeah, gigabyte memory cap for the PS4 is sadly not expandable. Sony has recently posted a few FAQs, frequently asked questions, of course, about the PS4 in a PlayStation blog revealing that, excuse me, revealing that and more. However, it has been confirmed that the PS4 standard hard drive can be replaced. In fact, users can opt to install a new hard drive to the device as long as they are able to equip it with a new 5400 RPM SATA no, 2 hard drive that is 9.5 millimeters and has a bigger memory than 160 gigabytes. Aside from this, it, al it has also been confirmed that 4K content for the video and gaming are not yet supported by the PS4, but support for still image and movie content is highly considered by the company. Also, as a little side note, <laughs> with that share button you will not be able to share your video to YouTube yet they have an agreement with Ustream and Twitch and their own little uh, PS4 yeah. cloud what it, whatever it's called just for no. PS4 videos but yeah you no. won't be able to upload to YouTube at all with the share button Yet, I keep saying yet because it might be, they might work out some kind of agreement with YouTube. Somebody's going to cut a check to somebody allowing for this to happen. But as of right now, you can't do it. If you really want to share your game videos, you can only share it to Twitch and Ustream. And even on day one, I, I would even say week one of the PS4 coming out, you will not be able to share video yet. So you will have to wait. Straight Face Gamer here. If you enjoyed my video, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Tell me, guys, what you think about all of this interesting shit in the comments below. I will post each link of what I'm reading so you guys won't think I'm making up this shit. So, yeah. Straight Face Gamer, you guys have a good day. Peace.